Hello and welcome to the Scalpel channel and today let's go over my top 5 favorite gaming keyboards at the moment. I've got a whole new roundup of mechanical gaming keyboards that I'll be ranking in order based on their value to performance ratios since this channel is all about budget PC gaming. I told myself next time I make a top 5 gaming keyboards video that I dedicate at least a week to each keyboard shown in this video because I understand that a lot of you guys want to know what keyboard will be the best for your hard earned cash. Most of my thoughts on these keyboards will be drawn from my individual gaming experiences on each of these in games such as Overwatch, CSGO, League of Legends, and Planetside 2. Because unlike Fortnite or PUBG, I'm actually pretty decent at those games. If you're interested in seeing more top fives like this, then consider subscribing to the Scatterbolt YouTube channel. And if you're impatient like I am when it comes to knowing when the next video is coming up, then either enable channel notifications or join the Scatterbolt Discord server where you'll be notified when a new video drops. Starting off at number 5, we have the $54 Gamidas Hermes 7 Mechanical Gaming Keyboard, or as I like to call it, the Poor Man's Corsair Keyboard. This is a very interesting gaming keyboard because while it's ranked at number 5 on this top 5 gaming keyboards list, I kind of low-key see it as getting the number 1 spot on a top 5 budget typing keyboards list. This guy sits at the perfect wrist height since it is a taller keyboard so my wrists aren't strained and that curved design of all all of the keycaps are very comfortable to type on. However, for a gaming keyboard, there isn't too much to rave about it for its price. This keyboard does feature Otmove Brown mechanical switches, which are all right for gaming. All they really do is just make you not one of those membrane keyboard peasants. But I gotta give props to the surprisingly good metal build quality brought by this keyboard and it's above average RGB lighting you're given for in a $54 keyboard. Coming in at number four with the upset kinda is the Corsair Strafe MK.2. This is the second revision of the Corsair Strafe, which I myself got to review back in 2017. It's not that this keyboard is bad or anything. It's fantastic for gaming. It has its obvious improvements over the original, such as the considerably better build quality, much brighter RGB lighting, and nearly limitless keyboard customization through Corsair's Q software, but I'd wait until this keyboard comes down in price. Currently at $140, you are $10 away from the number three keyboard on this list. And on top of that, there are many other keyboards that are cheaper than this one from other respected manufacturers, such as G-Skill or Logitech, that'll offer you the exact same sort of keyboard before a cheaper price. However, I still wouldn't sleep on this keyboard. It is a big improvement over the original Corsair Strafe keyboard, so much so that I don't really see a point in getting the more expensive K70 MK.2 for $180 because this bad boy for $140 is basically the exact same keyboard, just without the brushed aluminum. Regardless, wait for this keyboard to come down in price, just like graphics card prices. Next, at number three, we have the Bloody Gaming B975 rated at 150 bucks. I'm gonna straight this state up that I really hated giving this keyboard the number three spot because if this video were a top five gaming keyboards video that didn't take value into the equation, then this keyboard would easily be number one. Reason being that this Bloody Gaming B975 suite features brand new optical switch technology, which on paper should allow you to achieve a 0.2 milliseconds response time while gaming. For reference, the mechanical Cherry MX switches that we've been used to for the last 30 years, at their quickest, offer a 25 milliseconds response time. Moreover, even Razer is considering implementing this new kind of key switch in their future gaming keyboards because there is so much science behind it to prove its superior quickness over the regular mechanical cherry switches. So on paper, this should technically be the best gaming keyboard on this list or in the market in general. But from my personal experience, I noticed that the optical switch technology gave me an edge in my gaming performance at least two times a day and in only one game. League of Legends. I know so many of you can relate to this, but in League of Legends, there are so many times where you swore that you fired off that last second ability that would have saved the game, 
but never actually happened because the game never registered your keystroke because your keyboard was too slow. Well, with the bloody B975, I didn't have any of those moments in the week that I spent using it. Seriously. As for the rest of the keyboard, I would have expected a little bit more in terms of build quality, but for a $150 gaming keyboard, especially when compared to its competition, like the Corsair K70, where the build quality is its main selling point, I would have liked to have seen more. I on to that, this keyboard is a bit prone to sliding on desks because it's really lightweight and the feet on it aren't as good when it comes to planting the keyboard on your desk. So I like to see some improvements on that. Aside from that though, this bloody B975 will allow you to have the quickest draw in the West. Taking up the runner-up position at number two is the Red Dragon K561. To put it simple, I can't really believe this keyboard is $39. It's actually kind of crazy. Better yet, on sale, this keyboard usually goes for 30 bucks, which is incredible. I only put keyboards high on this top five gaming keyboards list if they're obviously good for gaming and offer a great value for the price, but really for under $40, despite the knockoff Otmu Blue switches, this keyboard is an unbeatable value. I dislike Otmu Brown switches as seen in the number five ring keyboard, but I've used so many inexpensive keyboards that just using those Otmu Blue switches, I can probably say with confidence that they're kind of underrated actually. The typing and gaming experiences are very similar to Cherry MX Blues, except the Otmu Blue switches aren't as high in the build quality department as you can hear from some of the sounds given off from this keyboard. However, that combined with its brushed metal-like texture, firm construction, and decent RGB lighting customization, this keyboard easily wins the number two spot on this top five gaming keyboards list. If you are wanting to get into PC gaming and you can't spend much on a gaming keyboard, don't hesitate to buy this keyboard. You will be at the envy of all your friends who for the same price decided to go with some rip-off mem mechanical gaming keyboard that really is just a membrane keyboard, but with clicky switches that aren't the real thing. Finally, my personal number one best gaming keyboard you can buy right now for the money is hands down the $70 Cougar Puri TKL. This keyboard doesn't look like much at first, but the value you're getting in this keyboard is astounding. First off, this is the second or third cheapest gaming keyboard on Amazon that offers real Cherry MX switches. These are the exact same sort of switches you would find in high-end keyboards from Corsair or G-Skill that are far superior to those cheap feeling Otmu switches you find in the same price range on Amazon, but for half the price. Also, did I mention that this comes with metal keycaps? Yeah, in a $70 mechanical keyboard. Another huge pro is this bad boy's portability. Some of you may have been distraught by the lack of a number pad, but this keyboard makes up for it with a removable USB connector cable, magnetic plastic cover, and a small overall footprint, making it perfect for LAN parties. There is nothing flimsy about this keyboard whatsoever. It is a brick and it'll withstand any pounding you put on it. Combined with this pleasant, bright white multi-variable LED lighting, this is the perfect $70 gaming keyboard. If you chose some overpriced plastic infested Razer keyboard over this with those knockoff Razer switches, just because it looks cool and it'll give you that Razer edge, then honestly, just uninstall System32. There's no point in continuing your PC gaming career. If you're an audiophile like my editor Melly and you're straight up obsessed about how good the audio quality of your headphones are, then consider checking out the AKG K7XX. Boasting a 105 decibels per volt sensitivity, a 10 hertz to 39,800 hertz frequency range, and a 62 ohm impedance, you're getting a really good damn sounding headset for 200 bucks. I'm not the craziest audiophile out there since I'm so used to gaming headsets, but I low-key had an eargasm when I first put these on. Using these were like receiving continuous sugar-filled candy through your ears just from listening to your favorite music. With this aesthetically pleasing look, 
cloud-like earmuffs and open back design, this AKG K7XX will get you that elusive audiophile grade audio quality for a mere 200 bucks. A link to check out the headset will be at the top of the description. Anyways, thank you so much for watching the video. If you're interested in seeing more videos just like this, then consider subscribing to the Scatterville YouTube channel and to know when the next video drops, either enable that bell notification button or consider joining the Scatterville Discord server. Every new subscriber helps the channel considerably and we're really close to 200,000 subscribers. And as always, be sure to like, favorite, subscribe and all that. And this is the Scatterville channel, signing out. <laughs>